For many years, Disney has been the champion when it comes to theme park attendance. Right here, I got this article from Forbes. It's tracking the park attendance from 2019 and 2022. And you can see Magic Kingdom at the Walt Disney World Resort in Florida making the number one spot, followed by the Disneyland Resort in California, which has had the number two spot. But over the years, Universal has been gaining ground on them, whereas Disney has been losing ground in some of their parks. You can see right here, Universal Studios Japan went from number five to number three from 2019 to 2022. And this coincides with the opening of their Super Nintendo World at their Universal Park in Japan, which is why a lot of people start going to that one. As you can see right here too, Island of Adventures went from number 12 to number five. But look at down here at Universal Studios in Florida. You can see it was at number 11 and now it's at number seven. But they have a pretty big news coming up with their Epic Universe. So a lot of people are thinking that's going to be the thing that ultimately sinks Disney. Disney understands that you need to do more things to try to attract new customers. So they've been announcing a $60 billion expansion for their parks in order to try to get more people coming to them. However, if you look at the details, $60 billion spread out over 10 years over all their parks and their cruise lines. It's not really given a whole lot of attention to each individual place. And if you look at their flagship park, which is Walt Disney World in Florida, it's only really getting a few minor upgrades and mostly of them are cosmetic. Meanwhile, you can look at what Universal Studios is doing in Florida, and a lot of people are calling this a Disney killer. Universal just put out this new stuff on their website in this video that shows like kind of what they plan on doing with Epic Universe. I'm not going to play this whole video. I'll just show this clip right here. If you want to watch the whole thing, though, there's a link to it in the description of this video where you can find it. But let's continue. So Epic Universe is comprised of five incredibly themed worlds, and in those, over 50 unique, compelling experiences. The idea was to bring you to these worlds you couldn't otherwise possibly imagine. And to do that, we wanted to create a mechanism that allowed you to be transported into another world, and it starts at the very entrance of the park itself. You'll enter underneath the Kronos, the first portal, where all the planets will align, and exhilarating discoveries await as you begin your journey into Celestial Park. So, so yeah, the, just that little bit. You're basically gonna have this whole centralized park area called Celestial Park, and then from there it branches off into the other sections of the Epic Universe. And they have these other areas right here, so explore extraordinary worlds. Uh, it only has it for Celestial Park right now, but the other ones it says it's coming soon, but you can look at what they plan on doing for people who don't know already. This has been announced for quite some time where they're gonna have an expansion to the Wizarding World of Harry Potter because, you know, Harry Potter is one of the more popular franchises and one of the more popular areas at the Universal Park. So it makes sense that they're gonna expand on that and they're gonna include, I think, another ride or two with that too. But still from right here at what it says, from 1920s Paris to the 1990s British Ministry, explore international wizarding communities and the magic that connects them in the wizarding world of Harry Potter. So that seems pretty cool to me, especially for all the Harry Potter fans out there. How to Train Your Dragon, Isle of Burke. This isn't something that I would have necessarily pegged as being a section for the park, but How to Train Your Dragon is a really popular franchise with both children and adults. So it does actually make sense for them to include this section of the park, even if it's not going to be like their huge selling point. I think it does still have a place here, and I think it will actually do pretty well. Dark Universe, this is one of those things I think is a no-brainer, because if you think about the classic Universal monster movies and things like that, it really does lend itself to the whole theme park area. I don't necessarily know what they're going to do with it, particularly uh, from the experiments of Dr. Victoria Frankenstein to a shadowy landscape where monsters roam. Dark universe is a world of myth and mystery. So not a whole lot coming about that, but still, I think it would be a pretty cool aesthetic for a theme park. But Super Nintendo World is the area I'm most looking forward to because this is something I thought seemed like such a fantastic idea. When I first saw the concept images and the videos of it from Japan, I was just thinking this is a place I want to go to right now. And I can see why it attracts a lot of people, which is also a big reason why their Universal Park in Japan actually jumped up in the rankings. And this expansion that they're going to be doing at their Florida Park is going to be the biggest addition to the Super Nintendo Worlds. And by that, I mean it's going to be the biggest Super Nintendo World in the whole world. And there's going to be a lot of room for expansion of this park as well. So I don't know what they plan on doing with that. Uh, right now, it's mostly Mario focused, but they're probably going to be doing other stuff later on. Maybe Donkey Kong area 
which I think would be really good for a Super Nintendo world, uh, maybe a Legend of Zelda region. Like you can kind of expand on that and have like a Hyrule area. Hyrule Castle, I think, would be a really cool expansion. I mean, this is me just speculating. I don't know. I mean, right now it's mostly Mario focused, but I think this would be a real fun area to actually explore. Right now you can see here it says details coming soon. So it's not going to have these fully built out for all individual parks right now. But for Celestial Park, this is the one that we actually have the most details on. Uh, it says explore more. So if you click on this, it's actually a pretty cool little graphic showing the actual park and what they plan on doing with it. So you get kind of the overlay. And if you click on these arrows, it'll take you around the place, which I think is kind of fun to explore. And I wish they had this for some of the other places. I'm going to be checking back on this website uh, for when they have those other parts uh, live because I think it'd be kind of cool. But yeah, you can see right here. They got a dual roller coaster and reading about this, it's called a uh, Starfire Racer. And it basically, yeah, both roller coasters are launched at the same time. So I think that'd be kind of fun to be able to ride on that one. Biggest roller coaster in the world for theme or thrill seekers. Yeah, probably not that, but I'm sure it'll still be pretty fun for most theme park attendees. Let's see right here. I, I mean, the design of this is really cool. I mean, at least in my opinion, I like the design of this and, one of the big things about theme parks, or at least what I like about theme parks, is just exploring them. And I can have a fun time at a theme park if I'm just walking around and looking at things. And that's the whole point of them, at least what I think is the whole point. Yes, the rides are nice, and I do enjoy the rides. But still, just the theming is what really gets me into them. And I'm excited about this one because I like what a lot of the stuff that they're doing here. Uh, yeah, a typical central carousel. I mean, that's pretty normal for a lot of new theme park areas. Uh, I mean, obviously this is kind of like best foot forward, like the way the plants always look perfect, but still, I mean, I, I like the way this looks. This would be a cool restaurant over the water like this with the fountains and stuff. So good on them for making something like this. Uh, let's see here. This, this right here, I love this design element where they kind of have these portals that uh, you go to go to those different lands. I mean, it just seems like it almost seems like a video game type uh, area where you have their central hub. And then you go to the different lands like that. But it's really a way for them to actually keep everything within this whole epic universe. But each one can have its own distinct look and feel to it. But yet they still have these kind of areas creeping outside of it, like these shops and stuff like that for the Super Nintendo world. And Oh, this hotel that they have right here, it's going to be integrated into the park. I forget what they actually say, the attendance that they can actually have or that or how many rooms it is. Uh, but still, I mean, that's pretty sweet to actually have a hotel built into the park like this. Uh, OK, here's a, an Asian restaurant there. So I, I forget what it is. I think there's like a cup in the central area. There's a couple rides and then there's a couple restaurants and then this hotel. So. That's the only information we have on this so far, but I'm really looking forward to seeing what more they have to come out on Epic Universe, and it's supposed to be opening up next year. So I'm curious, uh, going back to this chart right here, right now, Universal Studios Florida is currently sitting at number seven. So in a couple of years, uh, I'm wondering where this is actually going to be in like 2026, for instance. Is this, I doubt this is going to go down. I mean, I don't, is it going to take the number one spot? Who knows? Uh, I mean, that's uh, 10.8 million attendance in uh, 2022 versus 17.1 million for Magic Kingdom. So they have a tough hill to climb, but I'm pretty sure they're going to be making a lot of headway. And if they continue on with these expansions like this and Disney continues doing what they're doing, I can see in maybe 10 years or so Universal Florida actually taking up the number one spot for theme parks in the world.